Hello fellow multi-tool users on the internet. Now we're going to talk about the differences between the Flipper Zero and the MonsterTech M1 multi-tool. Now more specifically we're going to talk about is it worth to upgrade to the M1? You know, and I'm going to give you a perspective, but I'm going to leave the decision to you. I will, of course, give you my perspective as well and talk about what I see if I didn't have a Flipper Zero already. I'm just going to show you that I have a Flipper Zero so you know that I'm not just saying things. I have a normal Flipper Zero. And I do also have different kind of extension modules that goes into the DPIO pins. Now, first of all, let's just talk about some history. Now, the Flipper Zero has been here for some years now. It was a Kickstarter project. It kicked off, you know, took the internet by storm by this small, cute Tamagotchi-ish device that can do different things for you. Uh, more over something like radio signal, uh, RFD, RFID, NFC support, sub gigahertz, also having GPIO pins for extendable modules, infrared Bluetooth, USB, and some small display as an interface to interact with the device. So it's a small thing you can have in your hand and all these different things it can do with the modules and the firmware and the community backing it up. It's really a customizable, very interesting small gadget you can use in your day, your work, your job, and so on. Now, when we talk about this device, you know, it, it, would, it was kind of just a matter of time until another company would be there and say, hey, we're going to try this marketplace because we only have one unit so far that can do the things that the flipper can do, and it is the flipper. So why not create something new? You know, and this is what we do. It's the same thing. You have a car, then you make a new and faster car. You have a computer. You make better CPUs and so on. So when should you upgrade, right? Should you upgrade to the Martech M1 because it is the second one coming out on the market? Is it worth the upgrade? Now let's take a look. Take a look at the M1 multi-tool unit here. Now they talk about enhancement here, right? It's a more modern version. In essence, we're gonna take it like from the top-down approach. The M1 multi-tool does provide the same toolage as the Flipper Zero. However, they do provide enhanced RFID and NFC. It's a better chip. It's a better, I would say, probably a better range for some of the things. It do have the sub gigahertz like Flipper, sub one gigahertz. It do has have an advanced microcontroller that is even more powerful than the one the Flipper Zero is shipped with. It do have extended battery life. It should be better than the Flipper Zero itself. Uh, it have a larger display, which is a very nice thing. It do have uh, infrared signals like the Flipper, um, but it should have some greater compatibility and even you know more support for different kind of you know infrared signals. It does have a micro SD expansion, which is uh, really nice, uh, and it also uh, community and open base sorts, which I kind of hope to see more of um, in the future. Now, we're gonna talk about the core differences between the devices, and I do have a, a paper that I look at on a screen and, you know, gonna uh, highlight some of the things that are, you know, different from it. The M1 multi-tool do have a built-in Wi-Fi uh, antenna, which is uh, a big difference compared to the Flipper Zero. Now, the, the, the M1 multi-tool do have a more powerful CPU, a more powerful chipset, and just a more up-to-date look, I would say. It is not as nerdy to look at. It is a more clean, finished design. Now, I'm not saying that Flipper Zero is not clean and finished, but it's just a different device. So would I upgrade to this? Would I actually buy the Monster Tech M1? Well, it kind of comes down to the fact, do you already own a Flipper Zero? If you already own a Flipper Zero, you have the community to back it up. You have many different kind of people that can back it up. And that kind of would enable you to have all the things you need more or less. Also, the new version of 1.0 firmware for Flipper Zero just came out. So it's even... 
well, it's out of beta now. And you can see, like, it, it, it took some good years before they decided to take it out of beta. So we've been beta testing it for a long time. Looking at the Martech M1 tool, we do see, you know, some of the icons here that are pretty nice to have. We hope to see more Bluetooth stuff. We hope to see more Wi-Fi. It is still 2.4 gigahertz, but in, in, in essence, we could see a DPIO pin uh, extension board for the Martech M1 unit that could extend the signal to even 5 gigahertz. I see that we have, you know, more better processors and we, 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 we do indeed have multiple cards supported. Yeah, <clears throat> that's really great. So I would say, would, would, would you upgrade for the M1 multi-tool? Um, I would, you know, I, as a tech nerd and an interest part from that area, I, I would definitely go ahead and invest time and money into getting the M1 multi-tool. Even though that I know people are still talking about whether, when it's going to be shipped out and so on, because it's still on Kickstarter and they have extended their, you know, there's been delays on the production <clears throat> because it's a brand new device. So I would definitely say that even though I would still go ahead and invest in the M1 multi-tool if I were to uh, pick one. If, you, if you're in need of a unit right now, the Flipper Series is still there, a great reliable device. And it's not like you're getting a 100% upgrade, but you do get an upgrade. And I believe that we should give every new technical device there a chance to have a place in the market, only because it is bad for the market and bad for the development of new gadgets and devices for the market, only to have one distributor. Therefore, we need to have more to create more devices for geeks, as they say to create better devices you know we are looking into a future where things are becoming more customizable we're seeing more handheld devices we see people you know are being giving small things they can hold in their hands to to enable them to do hacking stuff even though it's still on a very amateuric level of of breaking wi-fi passwords with something as a as, as a bad cpu device this is a small flipper zero it's never going to be feasible it is a proof of concept device for some things but basically it's not really useful for that so it's still a gadget in my eyes but if I were to choose a gadget, I stood with the flipper and the M1 Multi Tool in my hands. I would definitely go with the M1 Multi Tool. We still need to see the community backing it up, which is what Flipper Zero have right now. But hey, let's be fair, they were here first. So of course they would have the community and would be the easy argument to choose. The other argument is here, it's also easy to say it is newer and better. Why not just choose that? Well, the choice is up to you. I lay down the facts. I hope you learned something from the video and I put in the description below, you know, some, some facts you can go ahead and look at and some links and, you know, have any thoughts, put a uh, word below in the comments and share with the other viewers. See you again online. Have a really nice day.